You know, from here, it kind of looks like I'm giving Elena a piggyback ride. <laughs> uh, if she was like a tiny munchkin person and I was normal size. Hey guys, welcome back to Uncharted 4. We are here in beautiful New Devon. Time to go exploring. This place looks fun. First order of business is getting down without breaking our necks. I suspect this will have something to do with it. Whoops. Really? Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was going to be more than that. You alright? Yeah. I don't know. This is actually breaking my balls right now because it's really freaking hot today, and I wish I had a pool. I want to go swimming in this little. I don't even know what you call this. It's not a lake. It's just like a flooded area. Well, there is a waterfall over there. Check that out. Playing some ominous type music right now, which is kind of weird. Although it's already pretty much over. It was just more of a tone, I guess. Look at all this shit over here. Hey, a couch. Pretty long. You know, when Sully told me about this place, I was picturing wooden shacks and simple homes at most. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan's just like, okay. Did I accidentally stumble onto the actual way forward? I bet you we're supposed to head in there and make our way through, but, uh... Oh, man, I kind of want to look over there. There might be, like, an area behind that waterfall. It's a total accident. I didn't mean to actually progress. It's funny how that happens so often in this game. I think that's actually a testament to the game design, how it just kind of, like, seems to naturally corral you in the right direction. A lot of good games do that. Resident Evil 4 is really good about that, too. There's nothing behind there. That sucks. Maybe this was a waste of time. This place looks, like, so fun, though. I just want to hang out here. I would hang out, like, right in this spot all day. Just feel the water just spraying all over you from the waterfall. Fuck. What's up here? Uh, it just leads to the same area. Okay, well, let's get a move on, then. This thing reminds me of one of the magical save couches from Eco. if you guys ever played that. It's actually one of my favorite games. Uh, they have these couches scattered around, and they just, like, glow with, like, this heavenly magic, and you actually sit on them to save your game. And, you know, I didn't actually plan on, like, announcing this or anything in this video, but since it came up, I'll just say it. I'm going to be starting a Let's Play of that game very soon. Because I want to play Eco and Shadow of the Colossus and then The Last Guardian when it comes out. And they're all, like, kind of part of the same series, so... Elena is pushing me off the edge here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I couldn't get out of the way. She was just, like, elbowing me down. That was crazy. Through here. Watch your head. Let's poke back here first. This looks like the kind of spot that would have a glowy just hanging out. But I guess not. What the hell was that musical cue all about? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Ooh, someone had it in for this guy. Yeah, you can say that again. What, we got a note here? Oh, another old note. September 6, 1718. Founder Condent, I know that it was on your orders that my home was ransacked and burnt. Your brother denied your involvement in these deeds, but I know a liar's tongue when I hear it. Now I am short one sword, as I cannot seem to pry it from his gut. Holy shit. You have until sundown to return what's mine. Founder England. 
So even the founders were, like, at each other's throats at some point. And again, Nate just has nothing to say about that. I didn't realize that there was strife amongst the founders, too. That's actually kind of important, in my opinion. This is so cool. This reminds me of, like, the Titanic. Like, this was this dude's room at some point, and now the actual room itself is, like, overgrown with vegetation and just natural stuff. I don't know why. I've always been a sucker for that kind of stuff. I'm kind of weird. But I just love, like, old structures and, like, kind of, like, lore like that in video games. I love, like, the old Temple of Time area in Zelda Twilight Princess. Because it's, like, the same place that you were in, you know, Ocarina of Time, but now it's, like, all overgrown and shit. And to me, that's, like, I don't know. I, I don't have a good reason for it. I just love it. Dragon. We're in Christopher Condon's house. Neat. His house is, uh, in need of some repair, I would say. So... Exactly where the fuck am I going? I don't want to jump back over there, because that's where we came from. I think we're supposed to head in this direction? Does this get us over that barricade? Are we on is this where we want to fall down? I think so. Let's do it. Shit. Sure, Lena. Lena, get down. Damn it. Okay, here we go again, guys. Mark. 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 Okay, that's all I got eyes on right now. I've got seven shots with my condor. I've got my Barak with six shots. I like these weapons, I just don't have a ton of ammo for them. So of course we will try the stealth approach. Not super confident in my stealth abilities lately, I seem to be not doing great. But you know, we gotta try. I don't really see any good ways to approach other than just Jumping over here when this guy's not looking. He turned around, so I'm going to chill. Okay, I think now's my chance. Okay, we can hold circle to go underwater to avoid being spotted. Sure, we can't hold our breath indefinitely, though, so we gotta be careful with that type of shit. Are you? Are you now? See how ready you are when you're getting your fucking neck snapped. Yeah, come here, buddy. Come here. Okay, I'm gonna wait till he goes back into those bushes right there. Or if he comes a little closer this way, that's cool too. Yeah, fucker. You weren't ready for that. And now his body's hidden too, so go me. Ooh, that was close. Okay, I want to climb up there and take out that dude, because then I'll be on the high ground and I'll be on the edge. So that's probably like one of the best spots I can be in. Ooh, a flintlock. I will just remember that's there. I'm not going to take it for now. wonder if I can climb up from this side. Uh, I think maybe I can? Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, man. I was trying to mark him. Didn't work. Hey, Elena, you know what would be awesome is if you just reached over there and yanked that dude down right now. Oh, shit. Let me over there. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Sydney doesn't look like a pirate's house. Where's all the valuable? Come here, buddy. I'll show you something valuable. It's right down here. <laughs> he didn't really make a splash, though. That's that kind of stood out to me as being a really shitty piece of animation for such an amazing looking game. That was kind of disappointing. Okay, careful now. Ooh, pistole. That's a good one too. That's like a shorty shotgun. There's a lot of good weapons around here. Okay, next order of business is to get up there. Because that dude's probably going to see anything I try to do. Uh, maybe if I... I could easily climb up right there, but he's going to see that. Maybe if I pop out this window, I can climb up from back here. Hmm. No. They thought of that. They're not going to let me do it. Well, at this point... Oh, man. I could try to wait until his back's turned, but it's a real gamble. Like, right now? Shit. I moved way too slow. Alright, hold up. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. All right, bring it, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is what I should have done. This would have been really smart. Ow, who the fuck is down there? Son of a bitch, man. That dude must have flanked me. I never saw him coming. And we're back down here. Okay, that's okay. Because I have a better avenue of approach now. Whoop. Oh. Got something over there. Got your back, China. Yeah, come on. Come at me, bro. Azit. You got anything? Nothing. We're okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming down here and making it easy on me, idiot. Okay, let's see, let's see. I could probably take that guy out in the foliage right there. That'd probably be a good way to take him out. And then I can double back. And get these dudes over here. Just need him to... Okay. Perfect. Come on over here, shit face. All this for one man? After everything, you're really asking me that? Yep, all this for just me. You know why? That's why, shithead. Oh, shit, that was a grenade, wasn't it? Yeah, I finally got a grenade! After being grenadeless for hours. Alright, next mark is this guy right down here. Gotta wait for my moments. That was my moment. Shit. Shit. Get up. Jump over there. Ooh. Too close. Too close. Sydney doesn't look bad feeling here. I can't believe that guy didn't see that. <laughs> did I see another grenade? I did. Yes! Oh, come on! Fuck! I didn't see that guy over there! Shit. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. It's the same guy that got me last time, too. Fuck you, dick. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, there's so many guys. Every time I die is a learning experience, though. Sydney doesn't... So that fucker right over there is the one who keeps fucking me up. That's alright. We're right back where we started. I just gotta figure out how the fuck to get up there without getting spotted. Jesus, this is hard. That's a waterfall right there, so I ain't gonna be swimming up. Maybe I should head over to that. You know what? Yeah, this this area sucks. I'm going back this way. And I'm going to take out these dudes over here and then make my way back. When there's less heat. The biggest mistake you can make in a game like this is just being stubborn. And trying the same thing over and over again when it's clearly not working. Go to a new tactic. Okay, here we go. Over here. Take that grenade. I see I can climb up from right there. I just... Fuck! I didn't mean to run off. <laughs> it's actually okay, though. Here we go. Now we're getting to the high ground that I wanted. Just had to come to this side to do it. Cannot believe they didn't see that. Holy crap. And my grenades are full now. Perfect. Okay, that dude's gonna get jumped on whenever I feel it's safe to do so. Like, probably right now? Oh, and I took his ammo for the Barak, too! Fucking sweet! Oh, man. That's the kind of stuff that makes me love this game. Alright, now we just gotta get back up top. And we gotta take the rest of these dicks out. Right there. There's my approach. Alright. Finally, we are where we want to be. Of course, this is going to be a task in itself. Getting rid of all these dudes without getting spotted. This guy over here is, like, probably the biggest problem because I don't see any good way to get to him. Oh, shit. Ooh, a China Lake GL. Oh, man, there are some good weapons here. Fuck, dude. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna hold on to my condor for now. Okay. Uh, taking the China Lake. Oh, I think I just blew up my wife. I'm sorry. What? I can't survive that. Oh my god. I see him. Oh my god. I can't believe that dude survived that. That was bullshit. Fucking hell, guys. <laughs> so, we're at the point in the game where, like, you pop out of cover for even a second and you're fucking dead. Oh, oh, that's cool. Thanks. Thanks for that game. Thanks for setting me up just like that. No way I imagined that. Imagine that, you piece of shit. Seriously, did you guys see that, though? I popped up to take one shot, and it was just over. Just, just game over, man. Game over.
Hmm. Wonder if I, I think I can just jump straight over there. I'm gonna have to take a risk and just do it. There we go. God damn it, there's a dude right there too. Look at how many of them there are. That's the sniper too. That fucking guy. Well, we can grapple over to that side. Which might be our best bet. I just don't know, man. This this combat's getting so hard. I like I don't even know how to approach this anymore. I feel like this dude's definitely gonna get the fuck over there. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I cannot believe that that worked. Now I'm kind of behind them. I'm actually in a pretty okay spot. We have company. Let's make a grid, gentlemen. As long as I'm careful. Get in the brush. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay! Okay! Yep, getting in cover now. Going back here. There's no cover back here. Mother of God. I couldn't see that guy. I can't see him! Got him! <laughs> Ah, uh, missed. Oh, right in the back. Uh oh. Okay. Fuck. Oh shit, it's a big guy. Oh man, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh. Blind fire. Save me, blind fire. Thank you. Oh. Shot him through the smoke. Got him. Jesus. I think that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. Yeah. Man. Combat in this game is just going crazy, guys. Ooh, 12 shots for the Condor. Alright, the Barak has served me well, but if I can get more ammo for, like, a Pistole or something... The hell is this glowing blue thing right here? I feel like this is gonna like restore my mana or something. What game is this again? <laughs> yeah, that was that was quite difficult. I don't think I'm gonna cut anything out of that because the checkpoints were pretty generous. Uh, how many shots for this thing again? Just three. Nah, I'll keep the condor. Since I have a full supply of grenades, I think that's going to be more useful, actually. Let me just uh, take a look around. I know that there were pistoles all over the place. I just can't remember where now. Not that. Was it down here? That's like a sniper. Okay, I can't remember where those where those guns were. <laughs> I'm actually probably gonna wrap up this episode here. And uh, oh, is that it? Uh, that's a para. And uh, when we come back, I will be stocked with the pistole, and we will continue on from where we are. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will catch you in the next part. See ya.